But let's get the market reaction to this rate move. Ed Boyd is with me. Ed, there was no real decision in this, you know, sort of, if you like, move by the Reserve Bank. No surprises. Bank. So what did the markets do? Look, there was an immediate impact, though, Ross, when on the stock market, within seconds of that decision being handed down at 2.30. Tech stocks, they always do well uh, when rates go up. So tech stocks are the top performers, followed by healthcare companies and telcos. Banks and property sectors, as you'd understand, would drop. They dropped away. Market was down about 0.3% at the end of the day. Australia's largest private hospital operator, Helios, was one was the top health company. Buy now, pay later company, Zip, was the best tech stock. The engineering and design business, Warley, well, that was up about 2.5%. Other tops included healthcare imaging company, ProMedicus, car dealer, AP Eagers, and the litigation funder, Omni Bridgeway. Uh, building and industrial manufacturers, CSR and Adbri, they both dropped away today, along with Whitehaven Coal, uh, which was down bang on 3%. And here's a quick look at some of the banks. You can see Westpac was the worst of the bunch. Uh, remember, it reported its full-year profit yesterday and was the top performer yesterday. ANZ was also lower. Also, Macquarie Group down 1.5%. Aussie dollar, it dropped away after the decision, shedding about, well, it's down about 0.9 of a percent now on the day. Remember, yesterday it was buying about 65 US cents. You can see today it's down to just 64.33. And there's obviously an expectation from currency traders that the RBA may now keep rates on hold in December, and that's pushing down the value of the dollar there.